So today we're going to be talking about pressurised training for our high performance squad and I'm going to run you through a game that I play with our national squad players, how to increase intensity and artificially create some kind of pressure for them during training on the driving range. The goal is simple, it's a proximity test. There's a six, series of six distances here that they must hit within a plus or minus tolerance of their proximity. They must complete two laps of this within the 90 minute time limit, so they really only have to hit 12 shots within a 90 minute time limit. Now you might think 90 minutes is a lot, but these proximities here for the shots are quite tight. Now they're good players, but it's certainly attainable, but it's just a little bit out of reach. So they have to hit a really good shot to be able to progress to the next one. Hit a really good shot, progress to the next one. Uh, so you'll see, for example, it alternates between 55 meters, driver, 85 meters, and so on. But the proximity changes accordingly. Now that might seem simple enough, but the, the where the pressure comes in is if they miss a shot, if they miss, they then have to walk to the short game green and pass a specific challenge down there before they can come back and attempt their shot again. So the, dri the sh driving range and the chipping green are about 100, 150 metres apart. So they grab their wedge, they walk to the chipping green, they hit a flop shot, they must hit it inside a three foot circle. Now sometimes I add a putting component to this, but today the greens were slightly renovated so we didn't use putting today. So we just use short game challenge. They must hit inside a three foot circle. If they do, they pick their ball up and they walk back and they go back to where they missed and continue on from there. Same process goes ahead again. Let's say they miss at the 145 meter mark. They were five me six meters to the right, say for example, or to the left, or short or long. They go back, now they go to the pitch, hit inside the three foot circle. If they miss three times, now they have a penalty box. So time is the commodity here. Now they have to stand in the penalty box for two minutes and do nothing and not hit any shot. So there's a penalty for missing three times in a row and they're fully aware of that on their third attempt. If they happen to miss, they go stand there. That gets them frustrated. So I love this game. I certainly love it when they stand in the penalty box. The players don't seem to like it too much. Then they come back. And they just, the goal is, to, as I said, to complete two laps. So there's a bit of a basic on the rules of this game that I like to play with the players. Let's take it outside and let's go watch them and see how they go. What distance now? Carry, 103.3 meters. Side, 4.6 meters by high. 60 centimeters. Got the distance. Carry, 228.0 meters. Side, 8.7 meters right. What distance? What distance? Right. Hold on. Plus or minus four. Perfect. Now three wood. Nice, now to the next one. Side, 105 meters, you got plus or minus four. So the plus or minus is north, south, and east and west. So left and right, and short and long. There's a penalty if he doesn't quite get it. Within 50 centimeters, but 3.9. So you made, pushed it a little bit, you made it by 10 centimeters. Good job, keep it up. So this exercise is consequences. If he misses, he has a bit of a walk ahead of him down to the chipping green, about 150 meters. Down there and have to do a uh, short game challenge before he can come back here and do the proximity. Not sure about that one. Looks a bit right to me. How much? 
short. So then he grabs his wedge, he comes for a walk. And then we head down to the short game green. So they walk down to the chipping green. They have three different shots. One's a bunk shot, one's a, a short-sided thick lie. And the other one is a flop shot out of some heavy car grass. They must hit it inside the circle. If they don't hit inside the circle, within three attempts, they go and stand in what I call the penalty corner, penalty circle right here for two minutes, which is where Donovan is. How come you're not in the circle? <laughs> So there's a penalty for every single shot. The reward is if they successfully get it inside the circle uh, and they head back to the range to continue the proximity challenge. It's a good shot. Nice, Justin. Now Justin just walked down with us. He's gonna be heading back. So the penalty corner is just an interesting way of uh, penalizing players for hitting poor shots. Uh, I think the number one commodity for all of us in life is time. We don't like wasting time. So this challenge has a time-based component to it, so I could put this circle anywhere. Oop, looks like Donovan's coming back here again. I'd have to stand there for two minutes before progressing to the next one. So every time they're forced to stand in the circle, or in Donnie's case, sit down, chance to reflect, think about the shot they just played. So here we are on the uh, first shot, which is a flop shot, to that circle there. Not a lot of green to work with, but we've got some really gnarly lies here. So the players, quite wet, had a lot of rain. Uh, they must drop it, of course. So this is the first challenge. They get three attempts to get it inside that circle there. If not, they have to go stand in the uh, penalty corner. This is shot number one. Shot number, shot number two, here is a bunker shot with a very high lip to that flag in the middle there. You can't see your landing zone, sloping away from you. Uh, you get down at bird's eye view here. It's quite a steep lip. So a challenging shot here, must roll the ball in of course. And third shot is a flop shot, I guess you could say, or definitely partial flop shot over the corner of the bunker out of some buffalo cow grass to the same pin, again, again sloping a little bit away. So this requires uh, some definite skill on the player's part, a bit of touch, and obviously judging how much, how that ball's gonna react after it hits the green. Welcome back. What number are you up to on the proximity? Uh, second last. Second last. So who's in front right now? <laughs> Justin? Yeah. Nice. How many more you got to go? Um, can't do the 85, three. Three to go? It's about 20 minutes to go. Boys are doing well. Now the pressure's on, the camera's on as well. If you didn't have enough pressure already, you're gonna use the toe. Okay, not gonna use the leading edge or the heel, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> right idea, execution wasn't quite there. How are you gonna play this one, Randy? Um, similar. similar? Shot. Why are you playing that shot, Randy? Why are you using the um, toe? I'm using the toe so that because the, the toe doesn't dig in as much compared to the heel. Toe doesn't dig in as much as the heel. So you can just glide. Glides through that ugly grass, wet grass. Yep. Nice. Prevents the duff. <laughs> Prevents the duff. It's a good little tip there for everyone at home out of wet cow grass. Nice pitch there. That's got to be good. Well done, Donovan. Atta boy. I'll see you a bit later. It's nice not to record you in the uh, penalty circle. Yeah, for 20 minutes. <laughs> Probably got about 15 minutes left in the challenge. Keep it up. Back to the range he goes. Complete the proximity challenge. So I guess the goal of this exercise is to add pressure like the real thing on the golf course. There's a penalty for every shot. There's a reward also for every shot. 
Yeah, so back to what I was saying before, there's a time component to this. Uh, so the penalty is quite severe, like first person to finish and now they're penalised, they have to stand in that circle for two minutes if they fail to get it inside this circle here in three attempts. So Donovan now going over the corner of the bunker. It's a tough little shot, not much green to work with. Nate's getting frustrated, has to think about it for two minutes. But Nate, I'll just put you on the spot here. How are you enjoying this challenge? Oh, I get, get my heart rate up. Heart rate up? Yeah. Yeah? What else do you like about it? Mm. What do you think it challenges you? How does it challenge you? I think it's like a bit more realistic. Where we are training, hitting balls on a golf course. A bit more realistic? If we hit a back shot, when it comes to the chipping, chip, keep it, butt in. So if you hit a bad shot, there's a consequence, right? Yep. Is it fun standing in the circle for two minutes? Not really. It's like a <laughs> circle of shame. The circle of shame. <laughs> Solitary confinement. I guess, does that any, add any pressure to you? Just curious, on, the, on your third shot, when you know you're going to come and stand in here, how does it feel if you don't successfully get it inside the circle? Yeah, definitely. Like, it's more, it feels like more on course when I mean, you're watching your score. Yeah, right. You need to save par. Yep. Nice. So I guess this is my favourite part of the exercise when players get frustrated. I don't know why I get satisfaction out of that, but... <laughs> Two minutes of silence, sitting there, chilling. Is this your third shot? Nice. Oi. Well done, mate. On you go. Nice shot. Yep. You play it the same way? Yep. Oh, hello. Nathan's back. Flop shot. Let's take a look at Nate's flop. Flop form here. Thick rough. You know, one attempt too, so I don't get another attempt with another ball. They can't drag and scrape like most people do, hitting 100 balls to the same pin. There's a bit of penalty there, has to walk to go collect it and go back again. Justin's still standing there in deep thought. Shot. Good shots, boys. So as the time limit starts to run down, they start jogging a little bit because they need to get a bit of a wriggle on. Sure. We've got about 30 minutes left in the challenge. How are you finding this challenge so far, Donovan? Tough. Tough? Short game has to be good. Short game has to be good. I think most people think it's a proximity challenge test. It ends up being a short game test, right? Yeah. How does it feel, just curiously, when you're on your last shot, when you know if you don't get inside the circle? A bit of nerves and a lot of frustration built in. So would that be representative of what you'd feel like on the golf course if you didn't hit a good shot? Yeah. So same kind of frustrations. Perfect. I guess that's the idea of this exercise. I'm very frustrated now, as you can see. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, okay. Yep, you're out of two minutes. It's nice to get some little insights from the players. Different kind of practice than standing on the range, just hitting, hitting balls, working on your swing, trying to replicate the pressure and that we face on the golf course. Just outside. What's your fairway? 10 meters? Yeah. Dead straight. One meter right of the center. Yeah, who's winning? All square. All square with probably only about 10 minutes to go, right? One behind. So it's a cumulative 
first team, they're playing in pairs, first team to complete two laps of these proximities. Gather your breath after the walk back from the shipping green. Did you get it, Nate? Going through the routine. It's going to be clutch shots down the stretch here. Seven meters gets a 20 meter fairway, so that's not too bad. On to the next one. What do you think? Oh. 60.3. What was it supposed to be? 55? Oh, a little long. See you later. Got a bit of a sweat up there. A few moments later. One minute to go. One minute? One minute. What are you up to? Yeah, I need two to tie. Two to tie. Oh, you got a chance. What distance? 55. 55. Catch your breath. Make it count. Can he deliver when it matters? When it matters. Oh, what is it? 50. Just missed. Point two. Okay, we're done. <laughs> the winners. Happy. You enjoy it, boys? Yeah, yeah. Good fun. Always good beating these boys, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>